Hello, and welcome to the Northwest Highway Feasibility Study Virtual Public Meeting. We appreciate your interest in the Northwest Highway Feasibility Study and thank each of you for your participation. Please note, you can pause this presentation at any point to allow more time to view the slides. Given the unique circumstances of the COVID-19 outbreak, along with our commitment to protecting our public health during this pandemic, the Texas Department of Transportation is conducting virtual public meetings until further notice to avoid in-person contact. At this time, the virtual format is being held in lieu of an in-person public meeting. This presentation will cover the same information that the Dallas District would have shared at the in-person public meeting. However, the comment process will be different. Details on how to submit a comment and how to have your questions answered will be covered later in this presentation. All project information can be found on the project website at www.keepitmovingdallas.com slash Northwest Highway. This virtual public meeting has been convened by TxDOT and is being held to receive and consider comments from the public regarding the Northwest Highway Feasibility Study. You may have attended previous public meetings conducted by TxDOT. However, for the benefit of those who have never attended one, I will explain why and how the department conducts a public meeting. A public meeting has four essential purposes. One, to inform the public of the status of planning efforts on the project and to present the recommendations based on studies performed to date. Two, to describe the project to the public, including known potential project impacts to the human and natural environment. Three, to provide the public an opportunity to view information and express their ideas and concerns at this stage in the planning process, when flexibility to respond to comments exists and before location and design decisions are finalized. And four, to develop a, a record of public views and participation to accompany recommendations for subsequent decisions. This virtual public meeting is being held in compliance with both federal and state laws. Documentation of this meeting will be made available for the official record. Following this virtual public meeting, the department will continue to refine the concepts and possibly create new concepts based on comments received. Your comments will be considered and will be responded to in a public meeting summary report. Comments will be accepted in several ways. You may complete our survey, fill out an online comment form, submit a written comment via email to stephen.endris at text.gov, submit a written comment via U.S. mail to text Dallas District Office, attention Stephen Endris, PE, 4777 East Highway 80, Mesquite, Texas, 75150, or leave a verbal comment via voicemail at 833-933-933. 0437. Comments must be received or postmarked within 15 days of the meeting date, which is December 22, 2020, to be part of the official virtual public meeting record. Questions on this project may be directed to the TxDOT project manager, Stephen Endress. I will now explain the study purpose, concepts being analyzed, and the process for evaluation. The study materials and other project information for the Northwest Highway Feasibility Study may be viewed at www.keepitmovingdallas.com slash Northwest Highway slash public meeting. The information on this website is the same information being presented in this presentation. The Northwest Highway Feasibility Study limits include Northwest Highway, also known as Loop 12, from Inwood Road to Hillcrest Avenue in Dallas County, Texas. The Northwest Highway Feasibility Study intends to build on the Northwest Highway and Preston Road area plan completed by the North Central Texas Council of Governments in 2016. TxDOT was requested to evaluate options for the Northwest Highway corridor to further study traffic congestion, parking, walkability, and drainage. The study is anticipated to recommend one or more solutions that encompass several goals for the corridor. As always, safety is the highest priority for TxDOT. Concepts will also be analyzed for their ability to minimize impacts to the surrounding environment, their ability to improve traffic flow and mobility in the corridor using traditional strategies as well as new technology, the concept's ability to provide alternative modes of travel, including transit, as well as improved facilities for bicycles and pedestrians, and finally, the concept's ability to provide an efficient solution while minimizing cost and enhancing existing and proposed land uses. Additional goals may be identified for analysis. Several problem areas have been identified through the existing conditions analysis. Locations with overall congestion during peak hours, left turn and intersection delays, crash hotspots, and sidewalk deficiencies are shown on this slide. 
Please take a moment to pause the presentation to review some of these locations that have been identified through the study so far. If you know of other problem areas, please use the survey or interactive comment map available on the public meeting webpage to provide input on your experience traveling along Northwest Highway. Photos of the corridor shown on this slide represent some of the problems identified through analysis and field study. The two top photos show a lack of continuous sidewalks and inconsistent access to parking. The two bottom photos show traffic congestion and lane blockage due to left turn delays. Traffic volumes have remained relatively constant over the past 20 years with volumes along Northwest Highway staying around 50,000 to 55,000 vehicles per day. The primary reason for this limited traffic growth is due to the corridor operating at its capacity while accommodating both local and pass-through traffic. Based on preliminary traffic analysis, traffic is anticipated to experience some growth, about 5% between 2020 and 2045, due to planned development in the study area. Traffic impacts from COVID-19 are assumed to be short-term for this study. To address the study goals, several concepts were identified that may improve mobility and safety in the corridor. The following slides step through each concept as well as the positive and negative trade-offs of each. We are in the very early stages of this feasibility study and are presenting initial concepts and ideas for possible improvements to Northwest Highway. There will be additional future public meetings and opportunities to provide input. TxDOT welcomes your comments on how we can improve any of the concepts presented here. In a feasibility study, the existing conditions concept is always considered as a viable solution and is also used as the baseline to compare other concepts identified for analysis. Northwest Highway is currently configured with six lanes, three in each direction. Lane widths vary between 10 and 11 feet. Existing right-of-way varies between 97 and 150 feet wide. A raised median is present in some areas, but not the entire length of the study area. Right-of-way width of less than 120 feet for a six-lane arterial would not meet current design standards. In a feasibility study, the existing conditions are studied as the baseline to compare concepts identified for analysis. The no-build means no changes are made to the corridor for cars or other modes of travel, and issues identified would continue. Operational improvements could improve traffic flow for cars, provide better connectivity for bikes and pedestrians, and resolve existing drainage issues. Transit could be separated from congestion, which may increase congestion in other travel lanes. Additional right-of-way may or may not be needed. A road diet may reduce the number of travel lanes to allow room for pedestrian and non-car modes of travel. Reducing the number of cars creates additional opportunities for bicycles and pedestrians to utilize the corridor. Traffic congestion may worsen for cars on Northwest Highway, and traffic may shift to adjacent parallel roadways. Right-of-way is not anticipated to be needed for this alternative. Bus rapid transit alternatives include designated lanes for buses and consolidated bus stops. Car travel lanes could be reduced and multimodal lanes may also be added. Right-of-way may or may not be needed depending on final concept, recommendation, and design. Trade-offs for the bus rapid transit concept include significant additional right-of-way needed to maintain six lanes for cars and to accommodate sidewalk and or multimodal lanes. Operational improvements, such as making all left turns signalized, may be needed to facilitate the bus movement in the corridor. Due to the additional bus users, pedestrian traffic may increase in the area and could benefit local land use. An elevated roadway concept would require additional right-of-way for Northwest Highway and include lanes that are elevated above the existing roadway. The elevated lanes in this concept would be lanes that pass through the area and would not have access to businesses and homes in the corridor. The surface level lanes would have access to land uses adjacent to Northwest Highway. The beginning and end of the elevated section would be wider, where the surface lanes and elevated lanes separate and would require additional right-of-way as seen in the image on top. Trade-offs of the elevated concept include better travel time for traveling through the corridor while removing through traffic from surface streets. Aesthetic and noise impacts may be experienced with the elevated configuration. The elevated concept would also require significant right-of-way where the roadway separates into two levels. A tunnel concept would take travel lanes below the existing roadway and travelers would pass directly from one end of the tunnel to the other without the option of exiting. The surface level roadway above the tunnel lanes would allow for access along the Northwest Highway corridor. The beginning and end of the tunnel section would be wider where the surface lanes and tunnel lanes separate. The tunnel concept would require additional right-of-way in the portal areas. 
Like the elevated concept, trade-offs of the tunnel concept include better travel time for traffic traveling through the corridor while removing through traffic from surface streets. The tunnel could also offer benefits for non-car modes of travel similar to the road diet concept. In the section at ground level, the tunnel is likely the most expensive concept. The image on this slide portrays what the tunnel portal could look like on the west end of the alignment. The portal location is tentatively shown near Devonshire Drive. The image shows potential right-of-way requirements for the entrance and exit to a tunnel concept. The image on this slide portrays what the tunnel portal could look like on the east end of the alignment. The portal location is tentatively shown near Thackeray Street. The image shows potential right-of-way requirements for the entrance and exit to a tunnel concept. Improvements for non-car users such as pedestrians, cyclists, and transit may require additional right-of-way where space along the corridor is limited. Changes to the existing roadway configuration may be needed to provide multimodal facilities such as sidewalks and bike accommodations that are comfortable to use and operate effectively. Potential priority multimodal connections include crossings at the Douglas Avenue, Preston Road, Pickwick Lane, and Edgemere Road intersections, connections along the south side of Northwest Highway between Douglas Avenue and Pickwick Lane, and connections along the north side of Northwest Highway between Preston Road and Edgemere Road. Hooded left turn lanes improve safety by reducing conflict points and can reduce delay on cross streets by preventing left turns. Hooded left turns could be provided at crash hotspots where unsignalized left turns are currently allowed. Driveway consolidation could benefit the corridor by reducing conflict points between entering and exiting traffic and between drivers and pedestrians or cyclists. Driveway consolidation could also create more space for multimodal facilities along the Northwest Highway corridor. A U-turn at the Dallas North Tollway is being analyzed as an operational improvement to provide additional direct access between Preston Center West and the Dallas North Tollway. This would also reduce delays by removing traffic from the Dallas North Tollway and Douglas Avenue intersections. Dynamic lane assignment and new turn lanes can provide additional intersection capacity during peak travel times and help to make intersections more adaptable to changes in demand or special events. The diagram on this slide shows the amount of traffic anticipated along Northwest Highway in 2045 in the current configuration, as well as a four-lane and two bypass options, bridge and tunnel, if one of these concepts were implemented. The shorter bypass would be from Meadowbrook Drive to Pickwick Lane, and the extended bypass would be from Meadowbrook Drive to Turtle Creek Boulevard. Level of service is used to describe the operating conditions of a roadway based on factors such as speed, travel time, delay, and safety. In engineering terms, the level of service of a roadway is designated with letters A to F, with A representing the best and F the worst. In general, level of service D corresponds to reduced speed and maneuverability. Level of service E corresponds to low but uniform speed. Level of service F corresponds to unstable speed with the formation of waiting lines at several points. This figure shows anticipated level of service for roadway segments along Northwest Highway based on the amount of traffic anticipated along Northwest Highway in 2045. The level of service is shown for the existing configuration, the proposed four-lane option, and two bypass options being evaluated. Traffic volumes forecasted are preliminary. A more detailed analysis will be performed as this study moves forward. This diagram shows the amount of traffic that would use adjacent parallel roadways rather than Northwest Highway for each alternative analyzed. The diagram on this slide shows the amount of traffic on cross streets based on each alternative analyzed. Following this virtual public meeting, public input will be considered and the alternatives will continue to be studied and narrowed down to identify one or more recommended alternatives. The refined alternatives will be presented at a public meeting tentatively planned for spring 2021. The public comment period for this public meeting ends on December 22nd, 2020. As mentioned earlier, comments will be accepted in five ways, which are outlined here. Comments can be provided through completion of the online survey by clicking on the survey link provided. Comments can also be emailed or mailed to us. A comment form has been provided for your use. You may also leave verbal comments on the voicemail line. To be included in the project record, comments must be received or postmarked by December 22, 2020. All comments will be fully considered and responded to in the project record. 
This document will then be made available for public review at www.keepitmovingdallas.com, Northwest Highway slash public meeting. We sincerely appreciate your participation and interest concerning the Northwest Highway Feasibility Study. Your questions, comments, and concerns will receive careful consideration. Thank you. This now concludes the presentation.